Hi guys! Welcome to ENS 181 Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to answer the practice quiz for initial value problem. So we have four items here. We're going to solve the particular solution of the following initial value problems. First, we're going to solve number one with the differential equation of y prime equals to 2y and a general solution of y of x equals to c e raised to 2x and an initial condition of y of 0 equals to 3. Now, to answer number 1, so we already have given the general solution. Since it is an initial value problem, so we are going to find a solution that passes through point 0.03 given in our initial condition. So we have to find the value of our arbitrary constant C. So to find that, we have to substitute the value of our initial condition into the general solution. So 3 equals to C e raised to 2 times 0. e raised to 0 is just equal to 1. So C is just equal to 3. Now, our particular solution, based on the initial condition, we have y of x equals to 3e raised to 2x. So this one is our particular solution. Now, if you are going to verify this one back to our differential equation, so to verify, we just need the y prime. So y prime of our particular solution is just equal to 3 times e raised to 2x times 2. Hence, y prime is just equal to 6 e raised to 2x. Now, we substitute it back to our differential equation. So, we have 6 e raised to 2x equals to 2 times ang value ng y natin is this one. 3 e raised to 2x. 6 e e raised to 2x equals to 6 e raised to 2x. Hence, the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation equates. So, this particular solution is a solution for our differential equation that passes through point 0, 3. Now, for number 2, we have y prime equals to x minus y. And a general solution of y of x equals to c e raised to negative x plus x minus 1 and an initial value of y of 0 equals to 10. So to find a particular solution, we have to find the value of this arbitrary constant c using the initial condition y of 0 equals to 10. So substitute lang natin ito dito sa ating general solution. So, 10 equals to C e raised to, ang value ng x natin is 0 plus 0 minus 1. So, we have 10 equals to C minus 1. So, C is equal to 11. Hence, our particular solution will become y of x equals to 11 e raised to negative x plus x minus 1. So this one is the particular solution that passes through point 0, 10. So to verify, we just have to substitute this particular solution back to our differential equation. So ang kailangan lang natin is ang value ni y prime y prime equals to 11 e raised to negative x times negative 1 plus 1 minus 0. So, y prime natin is just equal to negative 11 e raised to negative x plus 1. Substitute natin sa ating differential equation. 
negative 11 e raised to negative x plus 1 equals to x minus ang value ng y natin we have 11 e raised to negative x plus x minus 1. So, simplifying the equation, we have negative 11 e raised to negative x, x minus x is 0, then negative times negative 1 is positive 1. Hence, the value of our left-hand side and right-hand side of the equation equates. So, this particular solution is a solution of our differential equation that passes through point 0, 10. Now, we're going to answer number 3. So, for number 3, we have a differential equation of e raised to y, y prime equals to 1, and a general solution of y of x equals to ln of x plus c, and a initial condition of y of 0 equals to 0. So to find a particular solution based on our initial condition, we just have to substitute the value of our initial condition here. So y of 0 is 0 equals to ln of x is 0 plus c. So 0 equals to ln of c. So to get the value of c, we just raise the whole equation both sides by the exponential function. So e raised to 0 is 1. E raised to ln of c is just equal to c. Hence, the value of our arbitrary constant is equal to 1. Then, our particular solution is y of x equals to ln of x plus 1. So, this particular solution passes through point 0, 0. So, verifying our particular solution, we substitute it back to our differential equation. So, what we need is the value of our y prime. y prime equals to derivatives of ln of x plus 1 is just equal to 1 over x plus 1 times 1. So, substituting it back to our differential equation, we have e raised to the value of y is ln of x plus 1. Times the value of our y prime is 1 over x plus 1 equals to 1. e raised to ln of x plus 1 is just equal to x plus 1. So, times 1 over x plus 1 equals to 1. So, cancel ang ating x plus 1. Then, the value of our equation on the left-hand side is 1. And the value of our equation in the right-hand side is 1. Hence, both sides equate. So, ang ating particular solution na y of x equals to ln of x plus 1 is a particular solution of the given differential equation that passes through point 0, 0. Now, for number 4, we are going to find the particular solution given the initial condition of y of 0 equals to 1 and our general solution of y of x equals to tan of x cubed plus c and the differential equation of y prime equals to 3x squared times y squared plus 1. So, we're going to answer number 4. So, ang inahanap natin is a particular solution that passes through point 0, 1. So, we have to find the value of our arbitrary constant, c. Substitute lang natin itong ating initial condition sa ating general solution. We have... 1 equals to tan of x natin is 0 plus c. So, we have 1 equals to tan of c. So, finding the value of c, we have tan inverse 1. 
So, using the calculator, in the radian mode, we have the value of C of pi over 4. Substitute it back to our general solution. Now, our particular solution becomes y of x equals to tan of x cubed plus pi over 4. So, verifying, we have to substitute back our particular solution into the differential equation. So, what we need is the value of our y prime. So, we have y prime equals to derivative ng tangent x cubed plus pi over 4 is second squared x cubed plus pi over 4 times the derivative of our angle inside, we have 3x squared. So simplifying, our y prime is 3x squared second squared x cubed plus pi over 4. So this is our y prime. So substitute natin dito sa ating differential equation, we have 3x squared second squared x cubed plus pi over 4 equals to 3x squared times y squared and ang y natin is tangent x cubed plus pi over 4. Tangent x cubed plus pi over 4 squared plus 1. So, the value inside this bracket, so if you remember from our trigonometric identity, we have second squared x is just equal to tangent squared x plus 1. So, this one inside the square bracket, we can just simplify that by applying this identity. So, 3x squared second squared. Then, ang value ng angle natin is x cubed plus pi over 4. So, ang value ng left hand side natin from our derivative y prime, we have 3x squared second squared x cubed plus pi over 4. Hence, both sides of the equation equates. So, ang ating particular solution na y of x equals to tangent x cubed plus pi over 4 is a solution from our differential equation y prime equals to 3x squared times y squared plus 1 that passes through point 0, 1. So that is the answer for the practice quiz initial value problem. I hope you learned from this video. See you on the next video.